Okay, here we go with the chisel low. Harley Davidson bars picked up on eBay. $75. I'm really excited about that. They cost $309 at the Harley store. Um, they fairly easy to install, but there's not much on Facebook about them or whatever this is, YouTube. So I wanted to, to, to give you a little bit of uh, information. One, you don't have to extend your, your wires. The stock wires that are in the hand controls are both okay there's plenty of room for that two you don't have to take your tank off you can uh, un unbolt your tank from the other side lift it up and hold it with a block that'll get you to your rock wire cradle down here unscrew it from the other side one screw and snap it open you get to all your wires so your tank does not have to come off your Blinker wires may not be long enough. I relocated mine. That's the first thing I did in this process. Uh, they don't have to be cut or anything. The amp connectors uh, on the control uh, on the on the controls also don't have to be cut or taken off. Even I wrapped them up, greased them up, wired them up with aircraft safety wire, which had been routed through the handlebars, and pulled them right through all of the connectors. The throttle side has an extra uh, kill switch, so it has two connectors instead of just one. It's a real small one, so it's the hardest side. I'd recommend uh, pull another side through first, though, because I just slid this off and didn't uh, didn't mess with pulling the throttles out of it or anything else. You do have to have a brake line if you want to do it right. Actually, two brake lines because the it's a um, it's a double brake line with Harley. You buy the bottom one, which I couldn't find a one on eBay, so I had to pay the full price, like 60 bucks. And then you buy the top one, which I did find one of those on eBay. I got it for like 20 bucks. So, uh, I did a lot better on the top brake line than the bottom brake line. Overall, the handlebars look great. Um, I highly recommend them if you, you know if you don't like the bent over stock drag type bars and yet you don't want to stick your hand straight up in the air then and a pretty simple install overall I'd go with them and if you have any questions about anything you need or anything in the process that I ran into in doing this you can shoot me an email I'll, I'll get right back with you I've been messing with this thing since I got it it's a 2017 and um, it, it's just now starting to get modified so, uh, next thing I guess is a pipe and some air cleaners. I've already got my Power Vision. And, and I'll tell you one thing with the Power Vision, the stock tune, stock improved tune uploaded on this bike, it makes a world of difference. So, if, you're, if your Sportster is uh, rattling back and forth at around 3,000 RPMs like this one was, stick a stock improved tune on there with the Power Vision, good. Reef. It's like it's like a new bike. Really smooth, really fun. That's it. I'll talk to you later.